Hi. Uh, this exercise is called reverse flies. Um, one of the most useful things, in my view, about reverse flies is if we keep them quite light, we can target the stabilizers. Um, they will work your deltoids and some muscles in the sort of uh, in your upper back. And let me show you the movement. It's from a, we have dumbbells in our hands. So I'll just demonstrate it without to start with. Crucial thing is set up is that it's going to be like a deadlift position. It means we want a neutral spine. We achieve that by not being slack with the chest, but keeping it lifted. And when we push back, you'll keep your hips just pointed up a bit so that your spine is nice and neutral. That's not to say that it's pointed up so hard or your chest is pulled back so far that you're aggravating this arch, but that natural arch should still be there. Now, if your pelvis is slack, your natural arch will be round, and when you lift a load in this exercise, you're going to hit your back instead of uh, keep your back free and safe. Um, so that's really just about lifting that pelvis, it almost kind of rolls up and back. And we, what you get for that is a nice neutral position. And your upper chest, your upper body, your upper back is also just going to hit its alignment. So once you're aligned like this, you'll get a bit of tension in the hamstrings, almost like a kind of strapping. And then what's going to happen is we're going to hold these dumbbells and we're going to raise them up in what's called a reverse fly. A uh, fly is basically when the arm is in this shape, and it's going to move without the elbow or anything. That's called fly, like a bird fly. Um, so what we're going to do, as I said, is we're going to keep the pelvis tilted, hips tilt back, so weight distribution ends up right across the middle. You can feel a nice bit of tension in my hamstrings because my position is right. Chest is up, nice and neutral spine. Watch out for your neck, so don't squeeze hard on the neck. And then once we've got the dumbbells, we're going to them up and back behind us. So what's really happening here, what's mostly in control, it's true that your rear delts, the back of your shoulders are working, but what we're really, really interested in and where we can take a lot of benefit is the muscles between the shoulder blades. So those are the traps, and in this case your middle traps, um, <coughs> and also the rhomboids. For that reason, if you go heavy, you're going to find that what happens is that you compensate all around the neck, um, and you do quite a lot of work on your neck, um, and the deltoids do a lot. You won't find that you get really excellent kind of targeting into these muscles between the shoulder blades unless the weight is light enough that you can really feel that that's where and how you're carrying the load. So don't go heavy with these. Um, if we are, if we do choose to use the exercise to target this stabilisation and this sort of postural benefit, um, then a so eccentric phase is also going to be really useful. So here's our position, I'll grab the dumbbells in a second, and then come up. And then that return phase, nice and slow, feeling that you've got the control from these muscles between the shoulder blades um, is going to really help with stabilisation and there's going to be huge payoff uh, for that. Um, the payoff is postural, it's back health, um, it's also uh, there's an athletic payoff in that all of, the, all of these muscles are strong and they're getting a chance to exercise where they are targeted um, then that's going to pay off with everything athletic you do with your shoulders and your arms. Um, so I think that we, if we kind of use it to really get into those traps and rhomboids, that's great. You can go heavier, um, but there's a high risk that you compensate the neck. Um, and I'm not sure how much value it, it particularly has. So let's have a look at it nice and light. We're going to push into our position. We're going to come up under control. We're going to squeeze between shoulder blades. Really tune into the idea that the muscles holding the shoulder blades together are working and go for a nice slow return. What I did there when I was talking was a long hold as well, so we can use that. And um, different tempos, we can go up in a sort of standard tempo, hold for say three or four seconds, and then return for three or four seconds. Standard tempo movement is only about one to two seconds, so usually about two, and then a hold, let's say for four. As you are holding, you want to keep working on targeting and choosing the muscles between shoulder blades. Don't let your body start to dominate the exercise at the back of the upper shoulder of the neck. Really keep trying to get middle traps and rhomboids right between the shoulder blades, working the movement nice and slow to turn. There we go. Um, you can make it heavier and you can speed the movements up. Um, then it becomes a little bit more sort of strength and muscle building. Um, and also you're going to find that, it, uh, that your body very quickly dominates with rear delts and compensates with muscles in your neck. If you keep it light and you slow it down, you'll get really good uh, benefit from the reverse fly uh, movement. Thank you very much. So follow, like, 
message us, ask us for anything if you want, um, subscribe, all these things, and then you can see new videos as they're uploaded. Um, thank you very much. Cheers.